my esteemed colleague and uh, very dynamic industries minister Shudeh Samanji, CEO of uh, Pernorica, Mr. John Toblu, my friend Prasanna Mohile, Harshadeep Kamre, Kagandeep Sethi, Vijay Suryavanshi, Dr. Upi Nitanka, all the dignitaries present here, people from industries, dear friends. It gives me immense pleasure to witness the signing of MOU between Perno Rika and the government of Maharashtra for setting up of India's one of the biggest malt spirit distillery which will be set up at Butibori in Nagpur district. I am more delighted because this distillery will be using raw material which is produced by the farmers of Vidarbha. I think today when we are experiencing many weather events due to climate change, we require sustainability in agriculture and at the same time we also require that there should be value addition through food processing in the sector of agriculture. I think this is one of the projects which will ensure that there will be value addition in the farm produce because it is a barley based distillery and I am told that it will be helping farmers for around 35,000 acres and all of us know that uh, barley is one produce which is very sustainable. In most of the agroclimatic conditions and especially those conditions which are prevailing now, it is one of the very sustainable crop. And I think this will also create a new ecosystem for all the value addition in the food industry. I am also very happy that Pernorica is not just doing business in India and Maharashtra, but it is doing business with responsibility. All the social initiatives which they have taken up are adding to sustainability and are also creating jobs and better livelihood for people who are otherwise from the marginalized society. They are also helping many social initiatives and doing all that a responsible entrepreneur can do. I am sure that uh, their experience in Nagpur will be very pleasant. I am thankful to my colleague and industries minister and also the Department of Industries our secretary who have ensured 
that the land is delivered to them in record time. And uh, Harshadeep has also promised that all other requirements will be done at a lightning speed. I know he will do it because he also belongs to Nagpur and has a lot of soft corner about Nagpur but it's not just about Nagpur, he has been doing it elsewhere as well. And of course, Vijay Suryavanshi is also excited because he was telling me that up till now they were paying excise department in Maharashtra more than 3000 crores and now there will be huge addition to his kitty and his contribution to Maharashtra's exchequer because of this plant coming at Nagpur. I think uh, today under the able leadership of our Chief Minister Eknath Shindeji and our Industries Minister, we can see that huge investment is coming to the state of Maharashtra. In fact, I must say that while I was Chief Minister for consecutive four years, we topped in FDI. And uh, I think there was two years where Maharashtra could get more than 45% of FDI that came to India. Somehow in between when the government changed, Maharashtra lost its top position and uh, for one year Karnataka gained the top position, another year Gujarat gained the top position. When we came back in my first interview I told that I want to say that let one year pass and Maharashtra will regain its position and I am happy to tell that today Maharashtra has again topped the position in securing FDI and again we are above 45%. So the entire FDI which has come to India more than 45% has come to Maharashtra alone. And I must also tell you that now the investment is not just limited to MMR region and Pune. It's also going to Marathwada, it's also going, coming to Vidarbha, it's also going to North Maharashtra. And uh, of course, since the industries minister is from Kokan, with his initiative, a lot of investment is also going to Kokan. I am sure that now, Raigad has become industry magnet, investment magnet. You are not far from Raigad. <laughs> you are just close by. You are also, I know that uh, guardian, you are guardian minister of Raigad as well. But I am sure that soon from Raigad it will travel to Ratnagiri, which is just adjacent. I am very happy that in the varied fields, today we are getting investments and uh, as we are in Nagpur and Vidarbha and uh, many people from Industries Association are present here, I would like to give you a good news that we have almost uh, uh, zeroed down on our power subsidy and hopefully in next two weeks before the Lok Sabha Code of Conduct comes in place, we will be able to declare the new avatar of uh, Vidarbha Marathwala power subsidy, which uh, you were waiting for a long time. I must also tell you that uh, a week back, we entered into a MOU with Google 
and this MOU is actually about uh, artificial intelligence and we'll be working on seven areas through artificial intelligence which of course has agriculture, sustainability, uh, job creation, startups. There are seven different aspects. But the good news is, in the same MOU, Google partnered with Triple IIT Nagpur to set up the center of excellence in AI at Nagpur at the campus of Triple IIT. We know that uh, AI is going to change the entire face of the way we were conducting business. It is also going to change the job market. And I think it is high time that we stay AI ready. It is a tsunami which we cannot stop. But if we use AI for social good, I think it has power to scale our businesses. It has power to bring precision. It has power to leapfrog. And it has power to make things inclusive. And I think with this center of excellence, we would also like to focus more on the startups in the sector of AI. I'm sure that the youth from Vidarbha will be immensely benefited through this center. Today, I must thank my friend Prasanna Mohile because today we are signing MOU only because of his efforts. The way he followed up everything with broken leg as well. In fact, uh, we postponed this MOU with the hope that he will come running. But uh, I think it will take two months more that he will come. So I think uh, on the groundbreaking, he will be up and running. So I wish you all the best. I would again uh, like to assure Perino Rika that your experience will be the best. Our department will be helping you wherever it is needed. And uh, myself and our industries minister, we are also available for you 24 by 7. Whenever you feel you can come to us, you can contact us. Let us make it big. Let us make it the best. And I'm sure that, uh, as rightly said by Harshadeep, your experience in Nagpur would be such that all your future investments would also come here. But I won't mind if you take one of your investment to the industries minister's Ratnagiri. I, I support him for that. So thank you. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Jai Maharashtra.